Hey there, my name is Jared Pumphrey. And I'm Jerome Pumphrey. We're brothers, and we're also the authors and illustrators of The Old Truck. Uh, we want to give a big thank you to the Gaithersburg Book Festival for having us. Uh, we're really excited to share our book with you. Um, usually, when you see two names on the front of a book, it means one person wrote the book and the other person illustrated it. In our case, we both did both jobs. We both wrote the book and we both illustrated the pictures. And in large part, uh, it worked because of the process we use for making art. That's right. On the art, we use stamps to make the illustrations. You'll see here, Jerome's got some examples. Um, the trees here, all the trees were made up with stamps. Um, every single tree actually got its own stamp. Um, the clouds were stamps. The whole sky, in fact, was one big stamp. The barn was made up of stamps. The tractor was made up of a stamp. So, uh, like I said, everything here pretty much was a stamp. And we made over 250 stamps to make all the artwork in the book. It was a lot of work. We worked together on it, so it made it easier. But it was also a lot of fun. That's right. So we thought it'd be fun to show in more detail how we did it. And so we came up with a project. We're going to make this chicken. We're going to show you how to make this chicken. Tell you the supplies you need and tell you the steps to follow so you can do it at home. Sound fun? All right, let's get started. To do this project, you'll need paper, craft foam, foam core, scissors, glue, a red marker, or any other marker or colored pencil or pen that writes in red. You'll also need a yellow ink pad. If you don't have a yellow ink pad, you can use yellow paint. You can also use mustard. And you'll also need a paper clip or a toothpick. So you start with the craft foam, you get your red marker, and then you draw your subject on the craft foam. We're gonna do a chicken. The way we draw chickens is like this. You start with one line, then another line, Then you connect them with a circle at the bottom. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You'll see my circle's not perfect. Then you close it up at the top. And then with little letter N shapes, you add a tail like that. You do two on the other side like that. And that's the silhouette of a chicken. So once you've drawn it on your, your foam, then you have to cut it out. So you get your scissors, and you do your best to cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And in fact, we think the best stamps are the ones that, that aren't exactly perfect. They just look better. So take your time, be careful. Scissors can be sharp, but just cut it out. Once you've got it cut out, you're almost there. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your glue stick. You put some glue on the foam core. And then stick your chicken onto the foam core, just like that. And that's it, congratulations, you've made a stamp. Now, once you have your stamp, you have to put some details in it. And this is where our special tool comes in handy. I'll use a toothpick here, but if you don't have a toothpick, you could use a paper clip. You just unfold it like that, and then you can use the pointy end to put your details in. But because I have a toothpick, I'm gonna use that. So you take your toothpick, and then you start with the eyes. You put one dot, for one eye, then you put another dot for another eye. Now I know it can be hard to see what's happening here, but you're putting details in. So then you do the beak. You start with a line from the eyes, the triangle below it, like a letter V. 
So you do like a, a V with a line across the top. And then you, you just scratch inside that triangle to sort of fill it in. Okay? Now you've got a triangle where the beak should be below the eyes. And then, just with letter C shapes, you add some feathers down at the bottom. So there's one feather, another feather, another feather, and so on. And I'll just add a few more of these letter C shapes. These are more like letter U's now. And then maybe some dots just to put a little, you know, a little variation in there. So once you've done that, now you've got a stamp. You've got, you've got the foam where it's smooth. That'll pick up ink. And then where you've put the dots and the scratches, ink won't get in there. So you get your ink pad or your paint or whatever. And you apply the ink to your stamp. You want to make sure you get nice and good coverage. Make sure it's covered well. Okay? So you can see those details in there. And you push it down on the paper, even pressure, to get a nice print. Voila! There's the print of a chicken. And you see, it doesn't look perfect. It's not supposed to look perfect. It actually looks better when you have some of that texture in there. So you take your red marker and you add some legs, some little chicken feet. Then you add that little thing under the, under the beak. I don't even know what that's called. But you know, chickens have those. You can make that red. And then you put the little thing on his head. Also, don't know what that's called, but chickens have those too, so you can put one of those up there. I'm not the best at drawing those. Drum is better than me at drawing these things, but I'll take a shot here. All I was thinking about was, what's the Chick-fil-A logo look like? I couldn't remember, <laughs> but I did my best, and that's all you have to do is do your best to draw what you think it looks like, then fill it in. And that's it. There's a chicken.